Hi there, uh, it's me again, Al uh, Brown Spencer. Uh, I'm posting this video uh, because today is the 16th of uh, September 2020 and it's uh, Wednesday and I haven't been paid any compensation or invested money from uh, the people who abused me and used me and uh, basically the authority. And uh, I am just going to show you my financial situation now <clears throat> on my app uh, for my bank. Sorry, guys. Here you go. This is my statement or my up to date for today uh, bank details and numbers. So, as you can see here, this is the current account. So, this is the current account and it is six pounds 18 pence <clears throat> this is all what i have in my current account and this is my credit card and limit is <clears throat> maximum of three thousand five hundred <clears throat> and i'm already minus three thousand and sixty eight pounds and eighty four pence <clears throat> so if you look again this is my bank account and it is six pounds 18 pence credit and my credit card is three thousand sixty eight pounds eighty four minus so I'm I'm in debt to the bank for three thousand sixty eight pounds eighty four pence so I'm addressing the British Authority now and saying uh, <clears throat> My financial situation is so bad and please don't come to me and say work I need my money so I can start my business the authority owes me lots of money and I need my money as soon as possible and this is my the deed poll <clears throat> and this is my new name <clears throat> as you can see it's Al Brown Spencer so now my name is Al Brown Spencer. This is formally now from the Court of Justice. Okay, so I'm a British citizen. I don't have any other nationality. I only have a British passport. My name is Al Brown Spencer and no one in other countries in the world has got anything to do with me even where I was born. So anyone from where I was born claiming to be a relative, someone you knows me, whatever, this is all bullshit. I just want my compensation money and my invested money and I want anyone who claims to be a relative or whatever to F off, to leave me alone so I can start my life. So the British Authority, you are obliged to help me, you are obliged to assist me to get my money and to keep those people away. Another thing that I would like to make it clear, whether uh, there are some British uh, 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 people who are in the authority who were uh, involved or participated in the use and the abuse that happened to me, you are liable for punishment, and I mean justice, and uh, you are liable to pay compensation as well. You're not my enemy, however, you used and abused me and you must pay compensation and you must pay the price and you must be punished and when i say punished i mean you must you know be under justice and actually you know if you put me in jail for one day you have to go to jail for one day if you do if you poison me to make me put on one kilogram of weight extra you put on one kilogram extra so eye for an eye end of story and you must pay compensation as well this is one thing so it's complicated now 
So if there is someone from abroad who has the authority from where I was born and and basically they they are, you know, they have the authority and they are frightened or, you know, trying to make me look like, uh, you know, I'm someone or you fear me or whatever. This is all bullshit. I have no authority. I have no power, nothing at all. However, I have the right. You used me and abused me and destroyed my life from A to Z. So... I am here claiming again, I want my money as soon as possible. You've seen on my account and the app for my bank, I'm only six pounds, 18 pence credit on my bank account and 3,000, over 3,000 pounds debt for my credit card. So in other words, I'm in desperate need for my money. Uh, And again, you are holding my money. You're not giving me my money. And when I say my money, I mean my the compensation money for the use and I've used you uh, put me subject to. And for the years you wasted them for other things and the invested money uh, uh, that you owe me. Uh, again, you owe me this money. You must pay as soon as possible. I need this money as soon as possible. And this money is not few hundred thousand pounds you know how much it is and you know how much you have to pay so in other words i haven't spoken about it for a while it doesn't mean that i'm agreeing to whatever is happening or whatever you know you're thinking of or whatever you're planning no all what you've been doing is just poisoning me trying to prove that you know you're trying to help or whatever while in fact you are the ones who caused me all the grief and used me and abused me for years so if it's up to me and I have the power I'll take my compensation money from you my invested money and I'm gonna put you in jail for what you've done to me and you know what you have done to me and there are other things that you're not gonna go to jail you will have to pay the price exactly what you did to me so eye for an eye so in other words My money must be paid as soon as possible. I am in desperate need for my money. And, uh, you know, there is no need for more poisoning for any reason. I don't want you to have any authority on me, whether you're claiming to be a relative or not relative, whatever your authority is, I don't want your authority over me. I am a free person. I need to live freely. You don't have any surveillance over me there is no surveillance you don't watch me you don't whatever you don't control my life in any way or form or shape and this this is what i want my money my compensation money my invested money and i want you to leave me alone completely and you must be punished for what you've done to me don't think you're gonna get away with it and don't think because i haven't spoken about it for few days or whatever that I forgot or whatever no I'm trying to live my life I'm trying to get my head off you know all what happened to me and all of this and try to enjoy it doesn't mean that I have forgiven anyone for what they have done to me no I haven't forgiven you for what you've done to me you must be subject to exactly what you've done to me you must go through to through exactly what you put me through and you must pay compensation, financial compensation, as soon as possible. So, in other words, just leave me alone. Pay my money and leave me alone. End of story. And if you're a relative abroad from where I was born, I want you to F off. Can't you get it? Just F off. I am Al Brown Spencer. I'm British. I've got nothing to do with you. And if you have an authority and you're trying to to do whatever, just do it away from me. I just want my money and I want to start my life. And I made it clear what I'm going to do, which is none of your business, any of you, once I have my money, I'll do with it whatever. However, I made it clear I'm going to start my air and sea adventures business. I'm going to buy a two-cabin uh, cruise motor cruiser Mary Fisher 895 Marlin. I'm gonna buy a single uh, engine aircraft Piper Cherokee 6. I'm gonna buy two tandem hang gliders. 
and I'm gonna try to start my business and of course other stuff to go with it a 4x4 four four, this and that blah 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 and most importantly I am going to buy my own home sweet home which you know I'm in desperate need to have my own sweet home and you have my money and you are depriving me from starting my life and moreover you are still keeping the play going on and on and on abusing me still still poisoning me which I cannot prove and all of this so it's too much it's too much and someone has to do something and the British authority I don't know why you still haven't done anything and I I still haven't got my money yet you have to do something and I'm making it clear my name is Al Brown Spencer and you know my previous name my former former name is Galal Anani and any business any money any assets any any financial stuff connected or related to my former former name has to be moved to my new name so I can get it this is end of story so there shouldn't be any complication here and if there is anyone abroad who claims to be a relative or someone who has authority or whatever they must leave me alone whether whatever their authority and if they have authority over you this is a disaster I'm British I'm here it's no one from abroad should have authority over me or over you know the authority here anyway I'm waiting for my money as soon as possible and impatiently so pay it in my account please as soon as possible thank you very much